was good everybody we are back with another fair shake review and we're going to be talking about the additional tracks to um audrey nuna's album a liquid breakfast because she dropped a deluxe version um so she added seven more songs that i guess were leftovers from the creation of the project and 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 yeah so i'm gonna go and give you some brief thoughts of the additional songs and um then give a little short conclusion over it as well so rebound starts the the uh new songs here um and i thought it had a freaking dope beat she had a really really nice flow on it what she's talking about on it though no clue no clue at all but it sounds dope but I have no clue what she's talking about, really. The second track, I uh, no, Dollar Bills, is a freaking smooth beat. And this one's kind of talking about um, kind of being new money, uh, new to getting getting riches. Um, and then also folks wanting more music. Really enjoyed that as well. Um, just just killing it with with some smooth smooth flows on this beat. Um, then we get Irene which sounds kind of like a farewell to a cheating partner as she caught him um, outside the hotel with this chick, at the, at the Irene. And so she's just gonna, you know, say bye-bye. Just came to say, give you goodbye. And it's, it's like, you poo-poo on you, man. Uh, then we get molars, uh, where it seems she's kind of fighting the feels for a person of interest. Um, and, and you know, it's like yeah, I, I, you got me showing my molars. Like you, you're smiling big whenever you come around. Um, and and I, I really like this track. This song was really good. Then we get changes, which is a two-part song that's split into two songs. Um, and uh, the first half is has this really nice fat abrasive synth bass that I really really enjoyed. Um, what in the verses he has seemed to talk a little bit about her success and how it's affected her and then changes part two is kind of like a more darker half and i, I think she's still continuing to talk about how this success has affected her a bit um in her mindset but it's still a little bit unclear um then we get into the final track which is just baby uh remix of baby blues with beam and uh, here, um, Beam seems to uh, play the role of the boy she's talking about with the baby blues. And after hearing this remix and how he talked about it, I kind of got a new understanding of what the baby blues was, what what the baby blues is supposed to stand for, which I believe are, are just like new riches due to fame. Um, since you know the whole story um, of. You know, you fooled us with your baby blues. I think it's talking about, you know, um, blue faces, $100 bills. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, this still continues to be my favorite track from the project because I listened to the whole project again before getting to the new tracks. And overall, I still think baby blues is like just just the, the, the perfect writing um, that she has been able to have where she, she's really really singing well over it she's got a really catchy catchy uh chorus on it the 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 songwriting on it is rather rather clear um and and beam's addition to this as well is just super solid i really liked it um and so oh uh to to summarize i I feel like uh, these additions to the album pretty much bring more of the same that you were able to get from the original and that's basically style over substance um so i still feel like there's there's room for growth for clarity of concept and just focus um since sometimes it it just seems like the the lyrics can be a little bit all over the place at, at times um and then uh, so yeah there's there's some songs that have like some some clear identity of what the subject matter is but it's still kind of obvious to me that that her peel is like centered around the vibes um and and you know 
I, I want to continue following her in hopes that she becomes a stronger writer because I still feel like her choices and production melodies and flow patterns are like are 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 very at a very high and capable bar. Um, like like the way she she decides to to you know the beats that she chooses to to hop on um, and and the the like what what she writes over it sound really 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 good but when you just listen to the lyrics it's it's the one thing that's kind of holding me back from giving her like frequent listens like that's the only thing that's really holding me back to being like yeah i i want to play run that back run that back the, because the I'm sorry when I if I can understand the lyrics I'm gonna be li paying attention to the lyrics and the lyrics here just make me go like what <laughs> it's like it sounds dope but but I understand that you're not really saying much at least nothing that's super substantial that makes me want to like sing along and stuff um so yeah that's just kind of how I feel. This is my opinion. But what do you guys think? I need to know. Put your thoughts on the additional tracks and even the whole pro the project as a whole if you haven't um, uh, mentioned it on uh, my original review of A Liquid Breakfast. Put it in the comment section below. I would love to read about it. Um, if you're here on the YouTube, you can hit the like button. If you enjoyed um, watching this review, you can subscribe for more reactions and reviews. You can also go to the Patreon I have linked in the description box um, to support your boy and get some daily content. Um, but yeah, if you're on the blog, just go directly to patreon.com slash 5 or you can support our leader here by going to uh, Muddy Colt Miko on Patreon to support her and we will keep bringing this wonderful content to you all and we greatly appreciate all the support, um, especially those who have scrolled on my screen who are supporting me directly through Patreon. I greatly appreciate that, but that's all I got for you all. So until next time, much love, peace, peace.